Well, starting today, some schools across our area are starting programs to make sure children are being fed while they are out of class. Elise Haas went to Vancouver, where meals were being delivered this morning. Amid concerns over the coronavirus, students were not boarding up on their school buses today, but instead, their meals were. Evergreen Public Schools are loading up school buses with meals to make district-wide deliveries. Since that announcement came out, you have our food services people, our transportation people, um, our just all staff just working throughout the weekend, logistically figuring out exactly how we were going to do this. Superintendent Mike Merlino says it's been all hands on deck to prepare 8,000 meals going out free for any students who need them today. It's been a lot of long hours. Uh, it's very heartwarming though because we know that a lot of children are going to go without food. So um, it's been very rewarding. Evergreen Transportation Supervisor Kathy Bluff says they've spent hours preparing 300 buses for these meal deliveries. Students may wait at the bus stop during their normal pickup times to grab these meals. We're hearing a lot of kids are going to be out there um, and we've gotten great response from the community on this. For students who normally walk to class, they'll still be able to pick up meals at the school. School officials say this meal service helps hungry students and their parents as businesses shut down too. The parents are, are strapped a little bit financially as well, so it's even going to help there from the perspective of 10 meals a week where they don't have to think about how am I going to pay for this. As school districts help their community, they encourage you to do the same. Let's all rally together, stay healthy, love your families. As this situation continues to change, the superintendent of the Evergreen Public School District just wants to let everybody know to continue to watch for notices from him and as any other school district as well. And of course, we'll post the latest information about the schools at coin.com. Reporting in Vancouver, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.